Roger, can you tell us what was it like working with Scratch? Well, I mean, from my point of view, it's great because I, I like working really quickly and uh, so does Lee and uh, we just hit it off straight away and, um, and basically, I mean, we did, uh, we put everything down on the album uh, virtually live, obviously, the, got all the overdubs and everything. We, we were, uh, this is after we'd done the backing tracks, this was actually um, on the second session when Lee came back over to do his vocals and, uh, and mixing and there were still a few overdubs to do, so... Uh, uh, we were sitting in there in the control room one day doing some keyboard overdubs and uh, I'm sitting there concentrating, watching meters and one thing or another as you do and then I suddenly got a tap on my shoulder and I turned around and it was my wife, you know. And I thought, what? I've been in the studio, had the studio about 15 years at home and she's been in here about half a dozen times in 15 years. I thought, it must be pretty important. So uh, I turned around and she, and she said, uh, oh, there's someone here to see Lee. I thought... Well, nobody knows this here. I turn around, there's four bloody police officers standing in the doorway. So obviously, you know, uh, stopped the tape machine. And um, I thought it was a wind-up at first, you know. And they said, um, is Lee Perry here? And I said, yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's here. And they said, uh, and they read him, read him the riot act, you know. They sort of said, uh, uh, Mr Lee Perry, we're arresting you on suspicion of causing a bomb hoax. A cleaner had been in there and moved a few things around. He went and complained to the management and uh, anyway, by next morning it's sort of blown over and uh, apparently the same cleaner goes into the room again the next morning. What she's confronted with when she walks through the door is she sees herself on the TV in the room with a camcorder sitting on top of the TV. The, the cable coming from the, uh, like the mains adapter comes out of the camera wraps around a thermos flask with, uh, with gaffer tape, then goes on and wraps around the handle of a, of a rifle, a toy plastic rifle, and then disappears under the bed sheets or something. She runs out screaming, thinks that thing has planted a bomb, uh, that's gonna, somehow she's triggered it walking into the room, and goes out and all, all hell breaks loose, and there's about 40 police cars, fire engines, bomb squad, you name it, evacuate the hotel and everything. And uh, so, uh, and as soon as the, uh, the police officer tells me all this, I said, you better come with me. Took him down to the studio, we walk into the control room, and what does he see? He sees this like upright sort of cooling fan that Lee had bought, because he, he broke my fan, so he felt obliged to go and buy another one. And what happens? Mains cable comes out of the fan, wraps around the, the, to the handle of another toy rifle, and plugs into the mains. I said, he's not trying to scare anybody into thinking it's a bomb. That's normal, normal behaviour for Lee.